You can solve this integral using standard substitution, but quick and dirty method is to say that this is integral of sine x, and this cosine I know is derivative of sine. And now this becomes like an integral x dx. Because here I have sine x d sine x, just like x dx. And therefore this is simple this integral would be 1 over 2 x squared plus integration constant. So this integral will be sine square x over 2 plus some integration constant. Of course, you can take alternative route and say that this integral is really, I will write cosine x over here. I will keep cosine and then write sine as negative derivative of cosine x. In which case, I once again have this pattern over here. And that gives me negative cosine square x over 2 plus integration constant.